Welcome back. Do you use all the dating apps? You might be rethinking it after this next segment because a new book released by a local author is called The Offline Dating Method. So we have the author right here, Camille Virginia, here to tell us what it's all about. What inspired you to write this book? Oh, well, I honestly, like 10 years ago before the apps and online dating was hit really big, I would just walk into the grocery store and come out with a date. And I thought that everyone did this. The grocery store? Yeah. You're in like a long checkout line. Like, we've got 10 minutes here. Totally. We can, we can start up a conversation. It's very efficient, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not another to do. So yeah, I thought everyone did this, but then apps came out, everyone started swiping and other people lost the ability to talk to each other and I'm still, you know, going to the dog park and getting a date and they're like, how do you do that? Dog parks are a great way, it seems like. I've never actually done that, but I mean, you have cute dogs or the cat festival that we were just talking yes. about this weekend. If you're a cat person, that seems like a great place. We'll just start giving you ideas of where to meet people. So it's called the offline dating method. Yes. And it says how to attract a great guy in the real world. But if anyone is at home watching, girls, guys, non-binary folks, anybody, this can really just help anybody meet people in real anybody, life, Anybody, right? honestly. Yeah, it's really just about human connection. And, and getting a date is like a natural byproduct of a great, meaningful connection. So it's just a natural next step. But really, you're going to learn like social connection skills to live a more fulfilling life across every aspect. So the book obviously would take a lot longer than like three minutes that we have for the segment <laughs> to read the whole thing and tell us everything. But what can you tell us about what people will learn in the book? Um, so it doesn't matter how shy you are or how confident or extroverted you are, really. I mean, there's something in here for everyone because I think that everyone is just feeling a little bit lonely these days. We sit behind a screen so much and I'm an entrepreneur, like myself included. I, I get it, you know, there's screens in all of our lives, but... Um, what? I don't know what you're talking about. I never, I don't even have <laughs> a cell phone. Here. Never use social media. Yeah, right, guess. Yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, people just want to know how to connect with each other. We're, we're social creatures. We're supposed to connect with each other. And people have just lost the ability to do that. So even if you just want a new friend or a meaningful moment, this book will show you how to do it. So it seems like with dating apps, when I talk to people about using the dating apps, it's like, okay, then what, if you match with someone, then what is the first thing that you say? How do you actually start a conversation? And that is not left out of when you meet people in real life. So if someone is in the grocery store or at a dog park, how what kind of tips do you have for how they get that even started? They're like, sure. okay, I see that person. They're cute. They seem like they could be, I don't know, maybe my match, who knows, then what do you do? So then just comment on something that's around you. Don't make it a formal affair and you know, go up and introduce yourself, which has no real direction or purpose of where to go from there. So just comment on someone's dog or on the box of spaghetti sauce they're holding <laughs> or you know, whatever it is. Relate to them through spaghetti sauce, yes. okay? <laughs> Now what about, so you could be out in your personal life, work life, does yeah. it matter anywhere? Anywhere, anywhere you feel comfortable. I mean, obviously if you want to date at work, there's you know a little bit more probably social nuances to navigate there and that's up to you. But like really it's just talking to people like humans. I think we've kind of forgotten how to do that. And we go into certain situations and feel like we have to be a certain persona, but talk to a stranger like you would your best friend and, and pretty soon you're gonna be having a conversation like you would with your best friend. What about those people that are just true introverts and even with their best friends don't have big long conversations then how do they how so do they get i'm an introvert and actually i i would say quality over quantity so as long as it's meaningful it could be short could be long but as long as it's interesting and i actually care about it and so does the other person that's great so like use what's around you to break the ice and then ask how someone's day is going. Get off the icebreaker topic, whatever it is, spaghetti sauce, you know, <laughs> no one really cares about. Or blue pants, right? You wore or these blue, blue pants blue as pants. an example yes. of a conversation starter, right? Exactly. And right when you sat down, it's like, I love your blue pants. Yeah, so. it's different. It gives someone things to comment on, you know, because people are so afraid to approach each other. So give them something easy, show your personality. So can people find the offline dating method basically Anywhere you can find books? Anywhere the books are <laughs> sold. Um, it's at Powell's, it's on Amazon, and it's, it's everywhere. So. And what kind of things do people post with the hashtag offline dating challenge? Is that when you do find a person? Yes, it's my three-day <laughs> challenge to a red-hot date in the real world. Yes. So you can find that at offlinedatingmethod.com and everything's there, it's free. Amazing, well thank you so much. Congratulations on the book. Thank and you. everyone, if you read the book, let us know how it turns out for you. We want to hear those happy stories. We'll be right back. <laughs>